Sorry, bud, you're right. Behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. everyone it's your boy SB here back with another brand new video today I'm riding down to Norton skate park which is in Hamilton I'm gonna be cruising the streets I will switch it up to the GoPro in just a moment what I'm doing today is I'm taking on a holiday program full of kids so I'm gonna be teaching them how to ride and just doing like demo tricks and stuff for them so they can watch how cool scootering really is so without further ado let's get into the riding Time to get a bite to eat, I think. Cool, thank you so much. Ain't nothing like a good savor in the morning. This one's hella messy though. And there's a skate park, completely empty. My holiday program's supposed to show up here at nine o'clock. So I've got about 10 minutes to eat, warm up, and kind of get my bearings for the rest of the day. And I'll tell you, my body is so stiff from riding yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check it out on the cards because we went to this amazing $4 million skate park up in Auckland and it was definitely the most radical skate park I've ever been to, hands down. So this is Norton Skate Park. We've got a few rails, some ledges and uh, all the ramps are banks unfortunately at the skate park. It's just like a chill little street plaza. Pretty good for beginners, that's why I chose to bring the, uh, the holiday program here. We've got a stair set over this end as well and another little rail and a bit of flooding apparently so that's not too good obviously the cyclone came through hamilton as well and just kind of like ripped up the field so that's not very good but regardless i actually quite like this park it's nice and chill it's good to get some lines in and i like riding banks and rails and ledges obviously so this is going to be a good session for me here we go here's my kids here they just rocked up all that parking though oh i hope he's going to straighten that up yo my boy in the back's got a skitter brad shirt i don't know if you can see it over here but yo you can see it bro oh yeah the man what's up man How's it going? Oh. Yo, love the t-shirt bro, it's Thanks. mad. Everyone just arrived at Norton, everyone say what up to the vlog! Yeah. Yeah. Very, very excited to be here. A few of them have got my t-shirts actually. Come forward, show me your shirts. Yo, Scooter Brad, Scooter Brad, Scooter Brad shirt. We should just get like a little warm-up session going on right now so everyone's like fit and ready to start actual riding. And um, I need to do a bit more warm-up as well because it's quite early for me. So how about we just scoot around for maybe like five, ten minutes and then we'll get into an activity of some sort, okay? Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right, good. Let's go. What trick do you guys want to see? Right Triple whip up that? Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah! I'm going to do a brighter hip. Do that hip there. <laughs> On the box, I'll do bar many, whip off the end. After the Three tail up on the hip, okay. Okay, so before we get into like trick tips and stuff, I just want to talk about something that's really important at every skate park you go to. It's called skate park etiquette, right? Does everybody know what that is? Yeah. No. So skate park etiquette is just not so called rules, but just things that you should do at a skate park to just make sure that everybody's, you know, getting a good session in and getting a good time and you're not in the way and you're kind of paying attention to um, what's going on, okay? So I think the most important thing about skate park etiquette is to not stand in front of any ramp at any time, okay? So when you're waiting for your turn, I want you guys to be standing like on the edges of the park. That means that there's enough room inside the park for everybody to get their stuff done. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? The next thing is um, like not too many people on the park at one time. Like if you're waiting for a turn, you go to the other end, have your turn, wait, and then wait for everybody to come down that way as well. 
and then you can go again yeah so no nobody's like zipping to and fro all over the skate park because then nobody can do anything yeah no one can get anything done so you want to have like as little amount of people on the park as possible just wait your turn and just have respect for everybody else that's riding around okay and the third thing would just be to not be you know overly loud it doesn't matter if it's today because obviously the park's nice and empty so you can do what you like but when there's older guys around you know they don't like having too much noise while they're practicing their skateboard moves or their bike moves or scooter moves whatever you guys are doing but that's pretty much it so does everybody take that on board yeah, yeah? yeah. awesome okay how about we go into a trick tip who wants to learn how to tail it or tail it better yeah okay all right can everybody make a nice organized line at the bottom of the stairs and i will do some coaching down the bottom okay Come on, Joel. Bro, yes. so close. We're trying to encourage little homie Joel to get his first double whip up the step up. It's really important to encourage riders while they're riding and learning new tricks. Yeah. Come on, Joel, you got it. Yeah. Bro, that was it. Come on, mate. You got it. You got it. Next shot, bro. Next shot. Just let him, let him concentrate on his trick. Let him concentrate. You got this, Joel. You got this. Just tell yourself you're going to land it and you'll land it right now. Yo! I told you you could do it, mate. High five. You got it, bro. You got it. Nice. Well done, bro. Well done. So that's a new learn for Joel. It's really important for you guys to just encourage your friends and homies to get new tricks down. And then you can end up like Joel. Then you can start doing better tricks on the daily. And that's what it's all about. We've got a BMXer that's just rocked up. Feeble. Ooh. On the cranks or what? We're packing up now because we're heading off to, I think we're going to Macca's and then we're going to Fairfield. Now get on the bus too. I'm sitting right here. Who's keen for Fairfield though? Yeah! Keen as for Fairfield boy, let's get it. So this is, this is their get up, look at this. They got PlayStation, look at that. They got PlayStation stuff, mean ass couch. They're going to show me the rec room. Yo, what? All right, oi, should we go to Macca's now or what? Yeah! Let's go, 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 go. McDonald's, oh my god. Got hella food coming my way, mate. Hella food. Got the chicken. I can't even remember what I got. Chicken club with like a shake, I think. I got a special club house chicken. Oh, yum. That looks like a beast burger right there, boys. Right, we're going back to the bus. We're going to Fairfield. Made it back to Fairfield, everybody. Haven't seen this park in so long. Like. Last time I was here, I think we did like the drunk nine-year-old kid returns video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put it up in the cards. But I'm gonna chug on the GoPro, no messing around, because this is like my favorite park in Hamilton. So I'm just gonna ride, ride hard out, and uh, get plenty of clips for you guys. So let's get it.
I don't know why there's cops down here, but it's a pretty common thing when uh, you ride at Fairfield. There's always cops hanging around this area, so I guess they're just keeping the community safe. But I don't know why the cops got called. Maybe it's because my my tricks were just too rad, man. And they had to shut me down. All right, super hot out here at Fairfield. Gonna wrap up the session now. Everyone, say goodbye to the vlog. Bye. Been a pleasure riding with you guys today. I'll see you again soon, hopefully. But I'm gonna head on home, grab a drink, have a relax, edit this video, and get it out for you guys. So I'll see you at home. The kids' reaction when I left, man. It was pretty amazing, I gotta say. It's it's so exciting when people get really excited to see me because that makes me excited and we all just have a great time together. We have an amazing day, we have a lot of fun and that's what it is all about, like in this whole vlogging thing. I think the main thing that I love about the whole making videos thing is like I just get to meet people and I get to have a great time with them. They ask me a ton of questions, I answer all their questions, hang out with them for the day and just have a really good time. So shout out to everybody at Kids Venture that you guys came out for the holiday program, it was amazing. Thank you for everyone who organized it. I really do appreciate it and I will be definitely coming back. I pretty much just got a drink, I got a water and a banana milkshake and now I'm sitting at home trying to fix my Premiere Pro because it's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think I need a new laptop to be quite honest with you. Like my plan for later on today is, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Fate of the Furious, the brand new movie just came out and me and my best mate Levi who saw yesterday will be going to see it tonight. So that's where you'll next see me. Welcome to heaven, am I right? Free popcorn, dude! Yes! Gonna pirate some movies, guys. I swear. Yo, piracy going down. That movie was straight 10 out of 10. That's your Smash Tomatoes review right there. Fate of the Furious, go watch it if you haven't seen it already. Definitely recommend it. I'm back home at my mom's house now, but I'm gonna be really quiet because they're all asleep and it's really late at night now. I gotta pack up my room and my stuff. All my stuff's down here. It's an absolute pig star right now, but I'm gonna leave this video here for now, I'll come back tomorrow, and I'm gonna be traveling back home to Christchurch, so don't miss that video. I've got some cool packing to do. I'm gonna be catching a bus, catching a plane, heading home back to the suite. It's not really sweet, guys, I'm just playing. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Spear. I'll see you guys tomorrow. At the same time, peace out. Have a great day. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. I'm so good.